Venus flytraps. These are a fun botanical oddity that we carry here at Groovy Plants Ranch. They're native to the Carolinas, which is surprising to a lot of people. They have these great um, mouth-shaped leaves. So this is a modified leaf tip that turns into the jaws. So inside the jaws, the plant also has some fine hairs. And when a fly goes in there, or any kind of bug, spider, mosquito, whatever, once they trigger those hairs, then that's what causes the jaws to close. So to keep a Venus flytrap happy in your house, you want to give it a lot of sun. If you can give it four hours of direct sun a day, that would be perfect. And then these are bog plants. So they're used to living in areas that are saturated with water, but not with standing water all the time. So when you buy them from us, they come in a pot like this, and then they have a second cup of water underneath them. And you can totally just keep them in there and then make sure the bottom half is full of water so that it is pulling up water as it needs it to keep the bog part that is planted on top damp. You could also plant it into a container without a hole and then keep it moist but not having any standing water on top. So this is planted in a peat mixture so if you are going to repot it you're going to want to do something similar with peat moss and perlite, a little bit of soil but also they're happy in this soil for a while as well. This is, like I said, native to the Carolinas, so it does go dormant in the winter just like our native perennials do. So this can't survive outside here in Ohio, but it can survive in your home. And in the fall, it will die out. All the leaves will go dormant, but the rhizome or the crown will stay alive in here. You just want to put it in a cool room in your house. Make sure that it's not totally drying out, although you don't have to be as careful about keeping it nice and moist and then it can push up more leaves in the spring. But that's a Venus flytrap, fun for kids, fun for adults, uh, cool botanical oddity.